Hello everyone, welcome to Dragon Actual. Now, before we start today's uh, video, uh, let's have a look at uh, animation uh, that I have kind of recorded. So, and and after you uh, saw that animation for say forty seconds, uh, then we'll come back to the video. あ、散々俺の技を受けて出した結論がそれが。なめるな。結果。あ、かっこ。オッケー、アイ、アイホープダイオブシーンダアニメーションアンアイ、uh, however, the basis of that the animation is uh, the main character or the main protagonist of that animation uh, of that animation can uh, beat anyone with a single punch, and that's how powerful he is. So you have seen the person who is attacking uh, that person with with number of punches and kicks and whatnot, but just with a single you know single move, uh, the main protagonist was able to beat that uh, person, right? However, uh, uh, you also saw uh, uh, at the end of uh, that animation that uh, because of that move, uh, that that animation kind of, uh, that, that person, the main protagonist kind of loses his uh, band and is unfortunately uh, kind of in, in a stadium, full in a full stadium is kind, kind of is standing in his boxers. Uh, so that's precisely the idea of single premium versus regular premium, right? And this is also one of the very favorite uh, you know, uh, uh, interview question that I have, especially for people who are coming from WNS, uh, because there is a asset, you know, asset modeling uh, team there. And although they do uh, all sort of asset related activities, they are not able to, uh, like 99% of them are not able to answer this. So I hope that this will help them. Uh, so what is the main difference between single premium and regular premium uh, in, in as an, like as an actuary, uh, from an actual standpoint? So that is uh, basically uh, with relative relation to the investment risk. So in, in a regular premium uh, policy, uh, what will happen is that your premium would come every, every say, uh, quarterly, right? So you have, say, 100 rupees coming every quarter. Now you take that 100 rupees, you invest it in the first quarter, in, and then you take another 100 rupees, you invest it based on the investment condition that is prevalent at that quarter. You again take that 100 rupees and invest it based on the investment condition that is prevalent in the third quarter and this goes on, right? Now, the first 100 rupees that you have obtained in the first quarter will be having its, uh, you know, maturity, right? Maybe say 10 years down the line and that thing has to be reinvested. Uh, if the duration of the policy, assuming the duration of the policy is more than 10 years, then that has to be reinvested. Similarly, the next 100 rupees that you have invested, that you have to invest. So there is an investment risk and there is a reinvestment risk that is arising, right? So your liability might be, there might be guarantees, there might be a number of things, right? And your liability might be growing at a different rate than your asset is and there is an investment risk. Once again, after 10 years, you have to kind of invest those assets right and with the investment proceed that you have kind of obtained and there is a reinvestment risk there because that will depend on the investment scenario that is prevalent there so if you see in a regular premium risk there is a lot of this uh, investment and reinvestment risk coming in however for a single premium product you get all the premiums at one go right so then uh, you invest that all that premium in a one go uh, for a you know for for the, for a particular period of time says 10 years and after 10 years, you only have the reinvestment risk of that single premium. There is only one cash flow that is kind of arising and then that you have to reinvest. Unlike in a regular premium policy where there are a number of uh, cash flows that are kind of arising and that you have to invest, right? So obviously you can see by this logic, the investment risk and the reinvestment risk is much higher in a regular premium product. It's much difficult to manage and th that has, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's more tougher for an insurance company or an actuary to kind of uh, manage a regular premium product than as compared to a single premium product. Now, uh, up to this portion, I think uh, when I were, I have asked this question in an interview, 
some people were able to kind of uh, with some you know with some help uh, with some direction they would be able to come to this point of time but then the next question is why not the insurance company just sell single premium policies what is the because the, the investment risk is much less right why why uh, why do you want to even sell regular premium policies because you are getting the uh, you know the all all the things that at one go in a single premium policies uh, and uh, I think it, it is there that uh, they were not able to answer. The simple answer to this, you know, is is how many people in India do you believe can sell uh, or can purchase single PM policies because single PM policies would be uh, of say two lakhs, three lakhs, right? Very few people can do that. And insurance run on law of large numbers. Law of large number means that if for a collection of a group, uh, your risk is reduced, right? If you have ten people. Uh, then there is a higher risk as compared to if you have 100 people because out of those 190 might be in good health, right? 10 would be in uh, poor health and those 10 would be kind of subsidizing for those 100. That's, and that's, that's what is kind of given by the law of large number and insurance industry run on law of large numbers. If they start selling only single premium policies, uh, it would be very difficult for them, uh, you know, kind of to uh, get those numbers, right? So insurance company, even uh, for a small situation, maybe like a, you know, uh, small pox or, or small cholera, uh, they might they might turn uh, insolvent because there will be very few people, there will be very few policyholders. Money will go bankrupt. So now you know why the person who was kind of hitting with only single bunch was standing only in his boxers, right? So now I think the animation is making sense. And that's the, that's the main reason. Of course, there are n number of other things that uh, someone uh, can come up to with uh, regards to single premium and regular premium uh, but the main reason is this that right? why a regular what is the main problem of regular premium versus single premium and why insurance company does not only sold single premium policies right so please like share and subscribe if you like the content uh, hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i put a video, uh, any video and uh, i mean for this week also i'll be following that five minute series where Videos will be posted on Monday, Wednesday, uh, Friday and Sunday uh, at 7.30 uh, p.m. And uh, after that, I might go to uh, another series uh, or, uh, or something else. But uh, if you like it, uh, please, uh, please hit the like button and share with everyone. Uh, thanks for watching and see you in a future video.